Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Levi Clay here back again to do another transcribing video. This time I am looking at Martin Miller, good friend of mine, Martin Miller's solo on his Deep Purple Ultimate Medley. The Ultimate Deep Purple Medley, Highway Star, Burn, Perfect Strangers, etc. Uh, this is a job that I'm actually doing for Martin, so normally I would sit here and I would plug my Patreon and I'd be like, you know, if you want to learn to do what I'm doing, check me out on Patreon and of course you can do that, I should probably bring this up of course you can do that uh, but this transcription is being done for martin so if you actually want this particular transcription then head on over to his patreon page support him you know if <laughs> i'm always saying this if there are good content creators out there and you enjoy their work the best way to show that is to support them not just to uh, watch the videos in silence you can support them financially you can support us just by sharing our work so if you enjoy this or if you enjoy martin's work then please do head on over check it out share it um, if you are able to chuck a couple of dollars, that's also great too. Anyway, so let's crack on with it. Really? <laughs> Something's never changed, right? So uh, software-wise, I have Guitar Pro. Come here. Come say hello. Will that cheer you up? Come say hello to everybody. <laughs> right. Look, that's you. You cool? Chill out. Go sit on the couch. Right, cool. Don't move. <laughs> Immediately moves. Right, cool, yeah, so sorry. Software-wise, uh, we have Guitar Pro 7 on the right here. Um, don't particularly recommend it, but this is what I use because it's the most cost-effective piece of software. It's great for clients. Uh, it's great for customers to be able to use the transcriptions that I'm working on. And on the right here, I have Transcribe. There is a link that you can purchase this in the description. I absolutely do recommend this piece of software. This is a must-have piece of software. I'm using it with all of my students to help them improve their transcribing work. So I've had to... I actually had to screen capture Martin's video because... Uh, Google obviously own YouTube. They seem to have got their got their claws down in on people that allow you to download videos from YouTube. No matter what I tried, I could not download this video last night. So I had I actually had to screen capture the damn thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play in transcribe. I've loaded the video into transcribe. We are going to listen to the audio. I'm going to mark out where the bar lines are, and it'll give you an idea of exactly what we're going to be transcribing today. So it sounds like this. So, one, two, three. I like that. Right, we we'll probably won't get that far, but yeah, that gives you an idea of what we're talking about here. And this is, you know, Martin Martin Miller all over. He's one of the greatest uh, young rock guitar players in the world right now. And of course, he's got all of that jazz and fusion, and he's playing. No wonder he's got a fucking Ibanez signature model, right? <laughs> um, so I'm going to transcribe. So I'm going to uh, subdivide now. Yeah, I talk about using transcribe. You know, this is allowed, as you can see at the top, I've marked out where all of the bars are. This is really useful now because now when I'm looking at it, I can isolate two beats of that very easily. The video will be a little bit out of sync because it's so damn fast. Yeah, so um, I'm assuming standard tuning. So we've got uh, notating stuff like this. Bends in Guitar Pro can be a real pain. Uh, did I want to do that? No, I didn't want to do that. I want to do that. Because you've now got this slow, slow bend over two beats before getting to pitch on the fourth beat. Uh, 
I've got tremolo picking here. Two options for this. I could um, I could put in the note uh, as 16th notes like this, but I feel that that's using an unnecessary amount of ink. So if we just uh, have a whole note there and we can put tremolo picking on it, whereas tremolo picking, there it is. It's because I'm looking for two lines. Let's get the speed right. One, two, three, four. Uh, Uh, what? So, uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. About 180. Fine. So we got these uh, pre-bend releases. Uh, one last for a beat and a half. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Repeats. Uh, it's not not a tie. Um, I want to press C. And normally I wouldn't be putting vibrato in transcriptions like this but um, why not because I feel that's like an interpretation thing that'd be you know we might consider that lick one phrase two Back key signature because it's G minor, right? <laughs> My fingers are off. Now, here's I don't like doing this. Obviously, these are sort of pinch harmonics. I'm not going to notate them as pinch harmonics. Because again, to me, that's an interpretation thing. Palm muting. That's a great phrase. Now, you could be really pedantic here and put in that change of pickup, but I won't. He's straight up the octave. Um, ba -ba -ba. Now, it didn't sound to me like he was doing that there. It sounded like he was actually uh, playing it two strings higher than that, but apparently that's where he is. Cool. Uh, I am just going to do this. That will neaten up the eighth notes. Uh, where have we got? What the hell's going on here? I'm sure I put that note in. Ba, 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 
Now, of course, like I'm doing this and you're like, well, how? Are you, why aren't you using a guitar? <laughs> uh, this is all very simple pentatonic playing, right? So when I'm listening to this, I know, ba, ba, ba. I know how I would play that because it's minor pentatonic stuff. I can imagine um, notes within that minor pentatonic scale. And the more you do this transcription thing, the better you get at uh, things that aren't regular pentatonic stuff because you expose yourself to more things and those things start to become familiar in the same way that i know all of you guys that are listening to this even if you aren't transcribers i'm sure that you can play uh pentatonic scale stuff you can improvise within a pentatonic box and you can sing what you're playing as you do it because you've got that deep connection between that that simple fingering and and the sounds so that's how i'm doing this <laughs> across all of that hate it when it does that so you know not not a difficult job by any stretch of the imagination we've played these phrases before right now I need to change my time signature thing just so that we don't beam the 16th notes like that so shifting up oh no I'm just putting a uh, you're like a ghosted. Now, when you get to faster passages like this, I tend to beam them. Sorry, my face is in the way. I tend to beam them, not beam them, um, organize them two bars per line. a full tone I actually don't like that like that um, because it he does oh no that's much better I'm going to have to go back to beaming manually This is the first part of that solo. Now we should be able to play this in sync with Martin. Uh, assuming I've got my tempo exactly right. <laughs> Unlikely, but let's give it a go. So, oh, I that needs to be 100%. Uh, okay, so he is uh, slower than that. One, seven, six. Faster than that, one seven eight. Faster than that, one seven nine. We'll be right before. Oh, he's faster than that. It might be about one eight two. I went the wrong way. Don't you hate it when that happens? He's still faster than that. 185 <laughs> He's even 
even faster than that. Wow. 188. Faster than that. Let's go 190. <laughs> Love a bit of trial and error. Now there is a good reason for me doing this. I will explain why in a second. It's actually even faster than that. So it's almost, I mean, not almost like they're speeding up just fractionally as they're playing. Um, the reason I need to work this out is because what Martin intends to do with this is create a custom transcription video for his patrons. So once I'm done with this, I will then do a video render of the transcription scrolling along with the music in time, which he will then use in the video that he creates. So I need to get the tempo as accurate as possible, really. What is that dog doing? Very strange creature. Right, anyway, let's keep going. Now, here we're going completely blind, right? Because I can't see where he is on the neck. Uh, but... Uh, he'll probably be playing that E-flat there. Is it an E-flat? Get rid of that. Sounds more like a pull off. This is like harmonic minor. Why is that showing up as an E sharp? It should be a G, uh, an F. E double sharp, even. <laughs> Same thing, C sharp. this is a line is because we can't see exactly we know he he lands the uh this g here we can't see exactly where he's playing so some guesswork has to be involved but when i'm looking at that you could absolutely play it like that i don't see any reason why you wouldn't play it like that um your only other option would be that's the fifth jump isn't it mm. I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, and the beauty of this is, you know, <laughs> because this is a friend, because I'm transcribing it for the person that's playing it, I can say, hey, you're releasing this as a product, right? <laughs> Double check. Where do you play that? Okay, so now we can see... Now we can see he's playing it here. But that's not 8 and 10. Hmm. Okay, great. Okay, 
Okay, you could be playing. Yeah, uh, that would make sense. Okay, so we can fix this now. Cool. It's the same phrase, so we'll just put that in. It's definitely a slide here. So I'm actually just going to go back and assume that that was a slide and I'm just mishearing it. Now we don't play the F sharp here. It's an F natural. Jazz line. You get better at that stuff. Like I say, the more you do this, the better your ear gets. Just spot on with all those pictures. This is, yeah, this is um, the tritone scale. So I'd expect, uh, no, um, da, da, da. let's deal with that in a second. So I'm just putting that as a mute note because he's not really playing it. Ba -ba. Now that phrase ends there, so just to keep this nice and neat, I'm going to have this as three bars per line, because this is a change of section. This is moving into the arpeggios, right? So now this will be easy. We can hear it. Ba ba uh, ba ba da da ba da da ba da ba. <laughs> C minor. F major. Now he changes inversion. Uh, oh, he's playing a B flat major. Now, nothing tricky here. Just have to be tuned into what's being played, right? <laughs> it's in there somewhere. E flat major. Uh, A flat major. A flat major. A flat major seven. Yeah, A flat major. No. C minor. C minor. Big bend. It's not a tone. It's a semitone. Now the cool part, the part that will make the Deep Purple fans spin in their graves, not that they're all in graves, but... <laughs> Now, 
Now, this uh, reminds me of uh, a transcription that I was analysing for one of my patrons who did uh, his own transcription challenge, actually. He transcribed an Andy James sweeping thing. And he was almost there with all of the pictures, but even though video was provided of the transcription he was doing, the fingerings were all just way off. And, you know, it makes me laugh because, sure, that's how a piano player would transcribe it because they don't really know any better. They don't know how it's being played on the guitar. Um, for something like this, this is very easy and obvious to me because I've learned to, to do this stuff. So becoming a good guitar transcriber is absolutely about, you know, a big part of it is is being able to be in the head of the player, knowing how things are likely to have been played. So we got the same arpeggio pattern. Uh, that's minor, isn't it? Of course. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm just really wanting to. Then it will just be the same um, idea but moved through each arpeggio. So the next arpeggio uh, was C minor. Of course, we'll check. Shock horror. Next one was an F major. So we can just assume. he'll be playing that but we'll check then what was it uh, C minor uh, B flat then we had uh, E flat major Uh, to C minor. Now we can, well, I say we can, we should be able to hear what this is. And this reminds me of a, a lesson that I got from Dan Smith of the Guitar Hour podcast. It's talking about um, transcribing, right? Uh, and the skill that he is working on that seems very obvious when it's pointed out to you is what he would like to do is he listens to things and he tries his best not to transcribe the thing but before he transcribes it he tries to make an educated guess at what the thing is so when he does the transcription of it he can then look back at his uh you know uh, approximation of what his ear told him it was and see how accurate his ear was so when i hear this some diminished right So, uh, now as soon as I've got that, uh, wrong notes. It's going to be that, right? Uh, and that's going to move down three frets, starting on the uh, 14th fret. Moving down three frets again, so starting on the E flat, 11th fret. And then ending on that D. Now we're not going as far as that, but we will get the little picking run. 
Uh, funny, when I started this transcription, I said to myself, well, there's no way I'm going to get the entire thing done. But here we are, 30 minutes later. <laughs> Trying to get the right accidentals in where possible, right? Uh, hmm. Now I'm looking at his fingering and questioning if it's there. I think that shot's just out of sync. Can't decide if he's playing vibrato or a trill there. It actually sounds like a trill. Uh, but without the trill on the second half. <laughs> okay, so I know that this fingering is wrong, so I just want to correct this. you do that he's definitely doing that uh, maybe he's playing that there yeah Yeah, and there's a shift slide there. Okay, cool. So now let's listen to the whole solo. Uh, it should sound like this. I will save it. I'll save it afterwards. <laughs> with him it won't work but why not <laughs> that needs to be 100 percent speed that's important I'm just going to speed that up just a hair more, put it at like 195 and see what that does. That's actually just a hair too fast. 
like one BPM too fast. One, two, three. There we have it. Um, right, awesome. So lastly, I just want to bring this up and say thank you so much for watching this entire video. If you did make it all the way through, well done. Bravo. Clap, clap. You are taking the next step in your transcribing life. You are improving your ear. So good work. And uh, if you do want to be like some of those awesome people on Patreon, there is a link in the description. So go and check me on out over there. Um, lastly, uh, where is that button? This is the one I'm looking for. Cool. Oh, look, there's a dog there. Um, yeah, you can check me out on Patreon by clicking this button up here. Subscribe by clicking this button down here. You'll see two more videos. One is mine and one is Martin's video here. Martin is awesome. One of my favourite people in the world. I've known him for the best part of 10 bloody years now. And uh, I love him like a brother. So go and check his work out. Not that he needs me to promote him. It should be the other way around. He is significantly better and more popular than I am. Um, but rightfully so, because he's incredible. So go and enjoy his work. And I will see you for another video soon. Laters.